Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. We got a great one for you today. We had a question, how to make a video autoplay. It's an MP4 video, it's not a YouTube video. It's uploaded to the server here and I've got it natively on the site. And as you can see, that's playing automatically if I refresh the page. You can see it starts to play automatically. Really easy to do and a really eye-catching thing to have on your site. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder. And let's go down. I'll delete this and we'll start from scratch. Okay, well I've got a section here, the blue tab. Inside it I've got a row, the green tab with two columns. I'm going to put my video in this left column here. So I'm going to click on it, go down and grab a video module, which will be right at the bottom there. There it is. By default, it puts in a Divi video there. I'm going to hit the trash can to get rid of that. I'm going to go over to pexels.com and grab a video. That's P-E-X-E-L-S.com. Great place for stock videos and stock photos. I've selected videos up here. I put in a search for city. To see an image in action, just hover over it. It'll start to roll and show you what that video is going to do. To find one that you like, we'll just roll with this Sydney one. But don't hit the download button there because it might have a really high resolution. You want to keep your file size as small as you can. So I'm going to click on the actual image itself. And we can go up to the top here, the little chevron. There's a drop down and you can download smaller sizes. The smaller your file size, the less strain it'll put on your server. So I think SD will do me, just 960 by 540. You haven't got a lot of real estate to take out with this. I'm going to click that one. I'm going to hit download selected size. As you can see, it's downloaded to my browser here. I'm using Google Chrome. Yours will download to whatever your default location is. Great, now we've got that. We'll go back to the page. I'm going to hit add a video. And like I say, we're uploading a video. We're not inserting from a URL. There's the last one I did. I'm going to grab this one. We'll pop it up here. As you can see, it's only two megabytes in size, which is not too bad. I'm going to hit the upload video button. And there it is. It's popped it in there. And that's great. But I want it to auto play and loop round when the page loads. So I'm going to go over to learnwp.com and I'll put this URL down below. And this is where I found this script before. It tells us exactly how to do it. We've got to add a class name to our video module. LWP video autoflow. I'm going to copy that. We'll go back here. Video module over to the advanced. It's always where you find CSS IDs and classes. It's a class name. So I'm going to pop that in there. Great. And if we go back over here, if we roll down, they've got a bit of jQuery script. Now they're telling us we can put it in our Divi integration tab at the head of the blog. If you want to use it on all pages, that's fine. You can do that. I'll show you exactly where that is. If you go down to your dashboard, down to Divi, theme options. Here's the integration tab. Here's where they're telling you to put it, add the code to the head of your blog. I'm not going to do that today. I'm just going to have this on this page. So I'm going to use a code module on the actual page itself. But if you want to use this throughout your site to trigger videos, you can put it right there. So I'm going to add a little code module just underneath our video here. I'm going to hit the little plus to add a new module. There's the code module. I'm going to go back over here and we'll copy this script that they've provided. And copy it from the opening script tag to the closing script tag there. Control C, go back to our code module. And because it's got the script tags already, we can just paste it in there, Control V. Great. And you may be thinking, well, nothing's happening. Nothing is going to happen until we save this and refresh the page. But before we do that, if we go back over here, it tells you down here, the code above mutes the video, sets it to loop 
and hides the controls. If you want to disable looping of the video, then you can delete line number five. That'll be here, jQuery, LP video, order, play, video box, find video. And if you want to show controls on the video, then you can re remove line number 11 from the code, which is right there. I'm happy with it, it being exactly the way it is. So let's go back. We'll save our changes now. Save draft or publish if you're ready. We can exit the visual builder. And as you can see, that is now autoplay with loop and mute. And like I say, that's a really eye-catching thing to have on your website. But as I mentioned earlier, one thing you want to remember with loading native videos to your site, you want to keep them as small as possible because it does take out resources on your server and can really slow your site down. But for small little videos like this, it shouldn't matter at all, especially with today's download speeds. But if you wanted to make sure, so there's no gap there or anything like that, you could put a little image in the background of your column there. That way, if the video was slow to load, they'd still have something to look at. But this is tiny. As you can see, if I refresh, it's loading. There's no gap there at all, no blank. So there you go, guys. There is how to upload an MP4 to your site, make it auto play, loop with mute. Fantastic thing to have on your site. So I hope that's answered that question. Don't forget, if you have any questions, drop them below the video. I'll do my best to answer them for you. or we'll make a little demo video like this one. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.